in this part we will combine all these pieces of geometry together and make all the edges smooth. To do that we will use Volume Builder that is available uh, from Cinema 4D R20. But before we do that I will just make some changes in the geometry. I don't want to have any holes inside so I will create a cylinder here and to do that we'll just use the uh, simple primitive. Let's take cylinder and from the top view I will increase the radius, maybe add some more segments, make it smooth, 46, and let's make sure it will cover uh, our cannon from the bottom up to this part, like this, yeah, a little bit, move it here. So now uh, I will put everything into a null object and holding uh, Alt, choose Volume Builder. Now you can see uh, that our mesh is made of like, squares. These are voxels and we can change the resolution. Uh, but make sure that you don't make them too small because it might crush your uh, computer. I will start with one centimeter. Yeah, it looks good. And now we can see that our parts need more resolution here because I don't want to see any sides here. So I will go through. Oh, and <laughs> what's, what's interesting, there is a line inside the volume builder and volume builder puts spheres on it. It's this one. So I will just put it out. Yeah. I don't want to see it anymore. So let's find our pieces and increase the resolution. Actually, I will do something else. Because I used N uh, everywhere in each part, I will just search for N site. Yeah, there are five of them and I can increase resolution here. I will put 200. Yeah, so now we can see everything is smooth. If I would like to make these uh, edges a little bit softer, then we can go to our volume builder and put smooth here. It will take some time to calculate, yeah. And, uh, but maybe that's too much. Let's uh, decrease the strength uh, to 50%. And here we can see that we don't have enough definition in our screws. We, we have to do two things. We ha still, we have to decrease the strength of the uh, smooth and decrease the size of our voxel. So let's do this, like 50%. But for a second, I will just turn it off and change the resolution from one centimeter, maybe to 0.6. It might take some time, maybe even lower, 0.5. Yeah, I do accept that. And now I will just uh, turn on my blur. Let's see if it helps. Yeah, it looks good. It looks fine. And now we want to convert our voxels into one piece of geometry and we, we do it by volume measure. I hold Alt. It might take uh, some time to calculate it, so I will just skip that part. Okay, it's ready, and you can see uh, that our model turned black, but actually this is just very dense mesh, because this is how Volume Builder works. And now we can just reduce the geometry, changing the adaptive here. I will put 1%, that should help, yes. Or actually I will change the adaptive mode to maybe 3% because our cannon will have no more than 5 centimeters. So that should be enough. And now we can uh, click right, current state to object. I will hide the original geometry, holding Alt, uh, just click on these circles twice, so they got red. And here is the final model of our cannon. I press NA and you can see Everything is smooth, connected. Now we can select our file, just press file, export, and STL file, and you are ready to go. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye. What I like to do at the very end is to put my uh, pivot at the very bottom so it stays on the ground. To do that, we select our object, Shift C, Let's type uh, axis and there is an axis center, 
move y to minus 100 execute and we are done now we can go to our mesh let's call it canon coordinates y position to zero press s to center on our object if you make any change then volume builder will recalculate everything as it might and just slow down your work what you can do is to catch the geometry you can do that by pressing this green icon there is a cache layer and now we create cache it takes some time to calculate but then if we make any changes here this geometry will stay the same and if you would like to update our geometry then just click refresh here okay thank you very much thanks for watching and see you next time bye